Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see from my doll room, there's not really a cohesive theme that I have across my room. And so from time to time, I sit and I think to myself, do I want to retheme my doll room and have like one cohesive theme for my entire collection? So I've thought about that a lot, for real. It's like one of the things that I constantly sort of, that goes through my mind. So with that being said, this video is going to be the 10 rethemes that I've seriously considered doing for my doll room. Number 10 on my list is I have seriously considered collecting only Playline dolls. For example, this cabinet is full primarily of Playline dolls. I've got vintage Playline dolls, some international ones, American Girls, Welly Wishers. I've got a bunch of Nancys from Spain. These are my international dolls and more dolls down below. Every doll in this cabinet, except for a couple of the Tonners, I've got my Tonner dolls and I've got one Birding Creedy BJD in here. But all the other dolls could be classified as Playline dolls and as a matter of fact I used to only collect Playline dolls when I was a teacher especially because you know I couldn't afford any of the more you know expensive collector dolls you know American Girl kind of dances that line between collector doll and Playline doll and so that was a lot of what my focus was on um, in my early adulthood was collecting uh, these types of dolls and I love them I get just as much joy out of them as I do my expensive ball jointed dolls. So from time to time when I think about retheming, I think, especially if you've seen my, my video about the guilt that you have sometimes about doll collecting, you know, when you're starting to feel guilty about spending so much money on dolls and you think, I could just collect all Playline dolls and I would be totally happy with that. And I would be. I love my ball jointed dolls though and I love my artist dolls and I love supporting artists. So in the end, that's not a retheme that I see myself doing anytime soon. However, when I get to retire, retirement age um, you know that could be something because you know once you hit retirement you're you know you, you become on a fixed income and so maybe one day I'll do that but for now I don't plan to do that retheme anytime soon but it is one that I have seriously considered doing is just collecting only Playline dolls. Number nine on my list is I have seriously considered becoming a minimalist doll collector. So my theme would be like minimalist dolls. And what I mean by that is maybe like in each of these shelves that I have here, instead of having as many dolls per shelf as I could have, just have one doll per each shelf and have a very clean, a very organized, a very, you know, pleasing sort of display for my dolls. If I did that though, I'd have to seriously cut back on the number of dolls that that I have but sometimes you know when you get a little bit overwhelmed or when you get new dolls like I recently got a lot of new dolls and I had to think about where am I going to put these and how am I going to fit them in here the idea of becoming a minimalist doll collector can be a little bit attractive because you can think well if I just reduce it to just one of each type of doll and I could put them each in here and then I could use this space for my home office or something else but the reality is I don't think I'll ever be a minimalist doll collector because I'm always going to go to flea markets and thrift stores and things like that and find dolls that I'm going to buy and bring home there's nothing that can can stop that in me that is something deep inside my character that's never going to change but every once in a while I do think about it and I'll go through these little periods where I'm like hmm maybe I should really just cut back to like one doll per type of doll but anyway that's one of the rethemes I have considered doing is minimalist doll collecting the number eight retheme that I've thought about doing is doing all anime kawaii style uh, retheme. So, for example, you know, all my smart dolls, my mini Dolphy dreams, my Isla dolls, those sorts of things. And like the little Duffy friends fit in perfectly with that sort of. Um, that sort of theme because after my trip to Japan I just really loved all the dolls I saw. I loved all the A-Zone dolls. I loved all the Lika Chans. There were so many dolls that I love. I just don't have room for them all and so I really thought about you know I could do a total overhaul of the dolls in my collection and the dolls in my room and even for the dolls that aren't necessarily anime dolls I could dress them in a kawaii style fashion and kind of get that vibe. I also have all these beautiful Korean dolls that I love and so there's so many really cute fun dolls coming from these different countries that I really love. It's just one that I've really considered doing as a retheme. However, when it comes down to it, 
There are so many themes that I love and I think doing an entire overhaul in that style for my room would be really difficult and it would be hard for me to find the types of clothing and accessories and stuff that I want. It wouldn't be hard to find, but it would be hard to find enough variety and enough of them to clothe and redo my entire collection. So while I love the idea, it's probably not a retheme I'll ever do. Number seven on my list of rethemes is I thought about doing an all fairy and mermaid kind of retheme. I love fairy dolls. I think they're really gorgeous and they're a lot of fun. I've loved fairies ever since I was a kid. Tinkerbell was always my favorite Disney character. Well, Tinkerbell and Ariel were my two favorite Disney characters. So there you have the, the mermaid and the fairy thing. And I love the little fairy dolls um, that people are coming out with. The cool thing about that theme is that I could collect whatever type of doll that I already do, for example, but why would just dress them and accessorize them in a way to go along with that fairy mermaid theme. I would also change my dioramas up. You know, I have different types of dioramas here, but I would change those up to more kind of vibe with that theme and I could do a cohesive uh, decorating in the room and painting and doing things like that. And so that's one I have really seriously considered because the fairy theme is so broad and it could apply to, like I said, every doll. I could redress any doll I wanted for the most part as a fairy and then have that theme going on in my room. So that's one you may one day maybe see out of me. Probably not though because of the amount of work that would be involved with it, but it's one that I've seriously considered and I've thought about a lot because sometimes I do come in here and I just want there to be a, you know, because I love Disney World and I love um, that immersive kind of theming that they have in the different lands and I, I love going to places that have that immersive theme and sometimes I think I really want my room to be an immersive theme and to not be so kind of all over the place but when you collect a lot of types of dolls like I do it's hard to make one cohesive theme but I think a fairy theme would be one that potentially I could actually do so maybe one day my number six theme would be Mori Girl style. And if you're not familiar with Mori Girl, Forever Virginia's dolls are a perfect embodiment of that. It's like a forest kind of layering style, um, forest girl natural, you know, lots of different coordinating fabrics and things like that. And I really love this. style. I'm going to be honest. I don't know the difference. I've seen the word cottage core a lot lately, and I don't really know the difference between the two. I'm sure there is a distinct difference, but um, if you're not familiar with Mori Girl, maybe it's, it's kind of along those lines because the cottage core thing I've looked at and it's very similar to this sort of aesthetic that I like, but I've thought about doing that as well. That's another one that would be easy to apply across all my dolls, but the problem is I just have to get an outfit that suited the theme for every single one of my dolls and I have a hard time finding these types of outfits that I really like. I love these that Forever Virginia makes. There's a couple folks on Instagram that make really nice ones but of course they are more expensive because there's a lot that goes into piecing together these different patterns and doing different things like that and they're all handmade gorgeous outfits but you know I could potentially do that with my collection and just redress all of my BJDs in that style and then eventually, you know, do something with my Playline dolls. I don't know. I would probably have to get rid of my Playline dolls in order to really go with that theme. But I really like it. It's one that is probably easier to implement than some of the others. And I do really like the style of that stuff. So I don't know. That's another one that's Maybe one day you'll see my collection tend towards that. Number five on my list is to do a complete Harry Potter theme. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm not particularly a JK Rowling fan at the moment, as I know a lot of you are not. Um, but Harry Potter stuff, I love the uniforms. I love the kind of magical, you know, feeling that that evokes. And you know, this time of year, especially, you know, I start rewatching the movies again, and I just really, you know, everything that those movies evoke for me is just so magical. The movies and the books, I have read the books. Don't worry. Um, but you can see, like, I have my Nikki Britt dolls. Two of them are dressed in Hogwarts uniforms. Well, he's got his um, Mrs. Weasley made sweat on but I could that's something I could really see myself doing I have a lot more Harry Potter memorabilia and things like that and I have 
uh, a lot of it throughout the room. And this is another one where you really just need clothing changes for most of the dolls. Like you could, you could um, do different clothing and things like that. And even <laughs> I've gone so far as to think about my other dolls that maybe I don't want to put in magical, like in wizard robes or, you know, whatever, they could be muggles. And so really that's a theme that could be easier to implement than some of the others. And it's one that, you know, I really like and that I could do for the whole room, you know. So that's one that I've thought about a lot and just because I love the I love the stories and I love the characters in the story and it's just something that I think would be really cool and it would be a cohesive theme and again talking about the immersion like when I've been to Universal Studio Wizarding World you go in there and you that immersion that you have in that land is just so there's no way to describe it you just feel so magical and so I think sometimes you know if I came into this room and I were immersed in the Wizarding World it would be a really cool magical thing for me so anyway that's one theme I thought about. Another one that would be all of these things are, well not all of them, but a lot of them are very expensive to implement and so um, this one would probably be one of the lesser expensive ones because I could get, you know, the outfits, the wizarding outfits, like I could commission, you know, for example, for my Pasha Pasha dolls, I could commission really nice um, witches robes for them and things like that and then a lot of my Playline dolls could be my Muggle dolls and so it's one that might be a little easier to implement but at the same time you know I'd have to go with I'd have to focus on buying clothing and accessories instead of new dolls and that's where I get hung up a lot is I don't tend to buy a lot of clothes I tend to put my money towards new dolls so anyway that's my number five re-theme you know that I've thought about is doing everything like in a wizarding world sort of theme Number four on my list, and this is another one that I really could see myself, especially like as I get towards retirement age and I can't collect as many new dolls, is to do all 80s and 90s dolls. You know, a lot of the reason that a lot of us who collect dolls are collectors is because of the nostalgia from our childhood. And you can see I have two shelves that are absolutely slap full of 80s and 90s dolls with a few others thrown in. You see a couple of Harry Potter dolls in there, but for the most part, these are 80s and 90s dolls on these two shelves. And a lot of them are dolls from my childhood. Some are dolls that I've picked up at f flea markets and thrift stores. Um, but I just love, you can see everything's very bright. It's pink. You know, you have that sort of 80s and 90s vibe with these dolls. Those were kind of the colors for a lot of children's toys then. And so that's one that I could see myself doing because those dolls are easier to acquire, at least right now, you know, in 20 years. And, and the price of them does continue to go up. They get more and more valuable the more time passes. The more people like myself that aren't necessarily just doll collectors but want a piece of their childhood. I get a lot of views on some of my 80s and 90s videos from people who are not doll collectors but they're just reliving part of their childhood and so when you start to see that and other people are starting to try to buy those dolls back probably the prices will come up but that's one thing I love about them is you can go to the flea market and you can find these dolls and I've had friends of mine like my friend Corey found this one and picked up for me um, my friend Leah picked up one of these wee ones for me one of the l wee little miss dolls for me and it's just really fun when you have you know a lot of people looking out for you too because these dolls are you know they're not too difficult to come by but I love the way they look they bring back so much nostalgia for me so it's kind of fun to think about collecting that type of doll because those are the kind of dolls that you can go out into the wild and find these days and you know that's always a thrill to find something that you're really interested in collecting so that's a big one that I've considered and I've considered it several times just because I like this way this looks and just imagine if they weren't all crammed in together and I spread them out over several shelves it would be a really cool it'd be like stepping back into a toy store from when I was a kid and I think that's kind of the idea of that is you know recreating that nostalgia from childhood and thinking about what were toy stores like when I was a kid these were the dolls that they had there so 80s and 90s re-theme total re-theme would be one and with that I could redress some of the the more contemporary dolls that I have into that kind of fashion and I could fit them in with a the theme so that's the thing too is you know it, it could work for my newer dolls but anyway that was number four, 80s and 90s dolls. 
Number three retheme that I've really considered is doing a retro futuristic retheme and that is really hearkening to think about the Tomorrowland in Disney World or the Future World in Epcot where you have that retro futuristic kind of vibe going on. And the doll that I have that best embodies this is my Ife from Tamakin Space. And it's just, you know, she's got this sort of almost, you know, spacey, you know, retro futuristic look going on. And I thought, I've thought about doing that before, like having neon done in my room and just have that and do like a, a starry sky up top and just do like a Tomorrowland kind of theme for the room and redress all my dolls to fit in with that theme, which of course, again, would be extremely expensive to do. But talking again, once again, about the immersion factor, if I walked in here and it was like a Tomorrowland sort of theme, that retro futuristic space vibe going on that would be so cool for me so that's one of those things like if I had unlimited funds and unlimited space I would actually without a doubt have a Tomorrowland themed room for some of my collectibles all of my collectibles probably wouldn't go in there but dolls like um, Ife and then my incoming dolls from Tamakin Space as well they would definitely rule that room and I would have some other things in there as well so I just think that's one that I've really thought about a lot and thought, you know, if I had, that's more maybe more of a fantasy than an actual, because I don't think I could ever retheme this room that way. But if I did have the space and I had an extra room and I had the the resources to do it, I would have a Tomorrowland retro futuristic space kind of theme for my dolls. And I would have a lot of a lot more dolls like this in there with really awesome dioramas, lots of neon, starry skies, black light effects, things like that, because that's a theme I just love. Actually, one of my favorite places on earth to be is in Tomorrowland at Walt Disney World at night. It's just there's something about it that is just so, I don't know, it's so magical for me. It's just, it's it evokes these emotions in me. So it would be really cool to be able to kind of recreate a little slice of that in my doll room. Number two on my list and one that I've really seriously considered a lot, and if you saw my previous video, you might have heard a little glimpse of this, is to do a total like fantasy the Shire Renaissance Festival sort of retheme. Um, I've got these wonderful pieces like my Toby guy from Toby Froud that would perfectly fit into that theme. I've got my cream soda Ivy and my cream soda Sprite. Um, I've got a lot of dolls that would really lend themselves well, especially all my elf dolls that would lend themselves really well to this theme. And I could have, you know, men like the race of men, the race of elves, hobbits, orcs, different creatures, all sorts of things throughout the room and then I could have the room actually themed um, like the Shire and so I could have you know some rolling green hills and some dioramas and have you know I don't know what I'd have painted on the walls but stuff like that you know I just to make that sort of theme come to life. I really love every year going to the Renaissance Festival and I love going through and I love seeing the different costumes and the different shows and the different foods and just the feeling it evokes and one of my comfort movies is you know Lord of the Rings trilogy. I'll put that on sometimes if I'm just hanging out around the house. The Hobbit has always been my favorite book. I first read that when I was in middle school. Love that book. I read the Lord of the Rings trilogy when I went to high school. I've reread them all a few times since. They're just my favorite 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 books I love the movies and I really feel like you know there's no theme park for that anywhere and so that's one of the things you've heard me talk about theme parks a lot I'd love for somebody to eventually do you know a Tolkien theme park uh, you know who knows if that'll ever happen or if it would be a disappointment maybe it's better that they don't do it because maybe would be disappointed but I would love to have that sort of immersion in my room and do that kind of retheme that's another thing if I had unlimited space I would undoubtedly have a room like that the other thing is it kind of ties into the fairies theme because you know although there's not fairies through really a lot of fairies throughout that you could work fairies in so I think that would be pretty cool but anyway that would be my number two retheme is to do like a shire middle earth kind of renaissance festival <laughs> which might sound weird that they all go together but kind of do that theme for all my dolls 
Can you guess what my number one re-theme would be? My number one re-theme would completely be Disney dolls. Like I would, if I had to do a total re-theme, I could make a cohesive Disney theme throughout my room. You can see like even with my Nikki Britt dolls, I've added mouse ears to them. So it would not be too difficult to add um, Disney type things to my list or to my dolls. Or if you look in this cabinet, you guys may have seen my videos about my Ingle Pup um, Disney dolls. I've got Small World dolls in here, Ariel. Up on top of my shelves, I have so many Disney dolls and Disney plushes, it's not even funny. And if I had to, if I absolutely had to, I could totally collect only Disney dolls and Disney things. This is my Mickey Mouse that I got the first time. I went to Disney World when I was a kid. You can see his poor eyes are yellowed, but I spent like all my souvenir money on this guy. I still have him, bought him. It would have been 95, I think was the first time I went. So any, no, 94, yeah, 95 is the first time I went. So anyway, it was just like a really exciting thing for me. And it's something that stayed with me my whole life. You've probably heard me talk about Disney throughout this video. And if I could only collect Disney dolls, that would be okay with me. You know, I could do the limited edition Disney dolls that they do. I I love the animators collection dolls um, so that's something that I could see myself doing one day and for the the occasional ball jointed doll or other type of doll that I might would get into my collection I could just dress them as a Disney character I could get you know they could be Disney bounding so that is the number one retheme I really could see myself doing one day because I love everything Disney anytime I go to Disney World and it's just you know or a Disney park I've been, I've been very fortunate to be able to go to many I want to buy all the merch and so of course I don't because I don't have space for it but I could definitely see myself totally re-theming my room to be a totally Disney themed room and everything have a little touch of Disney to it so anyway that would be number one and it's a good possibility that that could happen one day I hope you guys that have enjoyed this video, you know, it's just one of these things that as I think about my room and I look around and I think I would really love to have a theme or I'd love to feel, I do feel immersed when I come in here. I feel immersed into dolls, of course, but I'd love to have another level of immersion on top of that, you know, come in here and it'd be like an actual escape and, you know, give me a different sort of feeling. And so that's something that I do think about from time to time is would I like to retheme my room? Have you ever thought about retheming your collection? Collection, or if you have a room, your room, or a shelf even, like if you just have a shelf and you've decided to retheme it, let me know that in the comments below because I do wonder if I'm the only person that thinks about that and thinks about making a cohesive sort of theme with my dolls and my doll collection. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and share it somewhere. Shares really help me grow the channel and I'm really trying to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of 2021 and I can't can't do it without your help. I appreciate all your likes, shares, and comments so much because that helps the YouTube algorithm and helps the channel grow. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, and Shira Star Hobby. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please check the link in the description box. Thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.